morning guys I just arrived to Japan last night as you may have seen from the last video uh, I had a long layover in Taipei but I made it here to Tokyo uh, it was uh, a, quite a process to get to the Airbnb that I'm staying in I think this is the line we want I don't understand this system yet. It is confusing. But I'm here now. I'm ready to go explore. Um, yeah, let me show you around. Here's my suitcase. And my, my drone and camera bag. And there's a little workspace. Uh, yeah, this is the couch. Here's the uh, microwave, a little fridge. Here's the bathroom. Got this shower room. So I took a shower last night. One really cool thing is you can lock in your temperature. I don't know, maybe maybe some rich people have that, but you lock in your temperature and then you just turn the shower on or off. It doesn't stay in one spot. It's not like in the States where you have a curtain that closes off. That pretty much the whole room gets wet, at least for me anyway. Also the interesting thing is this little bucket and a stool and this mirror um, maybe it's you sit there and you wash your feet I, I really don't know all right ow. Just, ow. everything's just a, I just hit my hip on that door handle everything's just a little snug for me let's come in here all right this is the bathroom look at this thing look at this device so I have a heated seat, a heated seat on the toilet. Very cool, I came in here last night, was very pleasantly surprised. But I don't know what all these little contraptions mean. I don't know if I wanna to touch anything. Let's see what this does. It looks like a bidet. There's a woman, I don't know what that woman part's supposed to do. I don't know if the woman part shoots out tampons. I, I really don't know why there's a woman on there. All right, maybe that's a good thing that those aren't working. I'm not really sure. I don't wanna make a mess of the toilet. Um, the only issue that I'm having so far in this apartment, it's a perfect place, a lot of space for a Tokyo apartment, is that the doorways are very short for me. I actually have a little cut above my head. I got a nice welcome present last night when I walked into the toilet and really railed my head on top of this doorway. But other than that, it's perfect. I'm ready to go explore. Let me get changed, freshened up and let's go hit the streets. All right, ready to go explore. The first thing you notice when I walk out of the apartment is how quiet this is. We're right in the middle of the city and it's very quiet. No car horns or anything you notice. Just some people talking, that's it. And actually right across from my apartment here, there's this little shrine I noticed from my window. Let's go check that out first. Look at this. The name is in Japanese. I can't read the name of the shrine. Look at this. I won't even attempt to pronounce the name of this place, but it, allow me to interject with a little more information. This is one of the thousands of Shinto shrines across Tokyo. It's an outdoor place of worship and a really interesting mix of park and church. This one in particular is set up with the purpose of worshiping Mount Fuji. For those that can't make the pilgrimage to the sacred mountain, and it's said to have been founded in the early 8th century. All right, that was pretty cool. All right, now let's go down to Harajuku, which is just a short walk from my apartment. It's supposed to be one of the cool places to hang out and also do some shopping. Let's go check out that scene. too cool for me just walking around the style that the Japanese people have is unbelievable it really looks so good I better get out of this neighborhood with these old clothes on let's grab some food all right I think it's time for our first meal 
This place looks good, serves up ramen. Let's go in there. Let me just say, it took about 10 minutes to figure this thing out. Like many places in Japan, you order your food first from a machine, before presenting your receipt to the counter or waitress. My mistake was trying to make a selection before I actually put money in. Lesson learned. But once the ramen came, it was well worth the embarrassment. Unbelievable. Thick, milky broth. Noodles cooked just right with some pork and some leeks on top. My first ramen experience in Japan. <laughs> My first meal in Japan. That was unbelievable. <laughs> All right, I just had to stop home really quick to freshen up and charge the batteries. And now I'm heading over to meet one of my high school friends who I haven't seen in years, who has been living here in Tokyo for the past few years. Let's hope we can find him. Come on. Where's the map? Where's the map? I don't know how to get to Shinjuku without a map. There we go, Shinjuku Honda. Thank you. He's everywhere. found Chris. We made it. Got out of the Shinjuku station in one piece. It was actually pretty easy from that stop, but it is chaotic in there. Now we're just exploring Shinjuku, checking out some of the back streets here. This is a pretty popular spot known as Memory Lane or Piss Alley in Shinjuku. It's home to popular little restaurants that serve up meat on a stick called yakitori. Just aimlessly wandering around the side streets Gaining perspective from my friend Chris, who's been living in Tokyo for almost three years, is such a great way to begin my trip and start seeing things on a deeper level. And then he took me to perhaps the most touristy spot in the whole city. This is Shibuya Crossing, the busiest intersection in the world. Take a look. Shibuya Crossing, it's time for some sushi, conveyor belt style. My first sushi here in Japan, let's eat.
look at this guy. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. A little dab. I wasn't recording that. <laughs> yeah, I just had my first piece of horse meat. I swear I ate it. You can vouch for me, I ate the horse meat. You did. Right? You did. It was just the can. I swear, I just the. I didn't press record. Uh, it was chewy, cold. Um, tasted almost like a raw sirloin. It wasn't bad. It was definitely different. And as Chris said, this is one of the only places in the world you'll enjoy some good raw horse meat. Cheers to that. <laughs> Alright, I just said bye to Chris. I'm gonna end the story there. This has been the first day in Japan, in Tokyo, and it was an incredible day. I'm really looking forward to my time here. There's so much more to explore, but until then, I gotta find my way home on the metro. Wish me luck. I mean, where, where are we? <laughs> Local restaurant? The local restaurant, you know, that we're at here, and you know, it's based from Japan. And, uh, Tokyo, what's the TGI stand for? Tokyo. Tokyo's great idea. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Just we're local here. spots only. That's all we're about here. Travel deeper. You gotta go to locals only spots. TGI Fridays. Sun. Yes. <laughs>